good morning and welcome to a very exciting week for me which means it'll be entertaining it's my birthday week it's my birthday i know nobody cares <laughs> well i mean people care but i feel like as you get older you kind of care less and uh, we're going to portland this vlog will be essentially a little bit of me just prepping for the weekend for my birthday i have some new things that i haven't worn yet with tag still on my louis vuitton purse is still being repaired so i want to go pick it up because i want that for the trip so i'm gonna have to ask him if it's ready he's had to replace the leather on it and re-dye it a couple of times to try to get it to match and he just said that he had to order this specific kind of leather because none of the ones he was doing were looking right i want it to look right i don't want to rush it but it has been a couple of months that he's had it and i really want it back okay it is an absolute rule that i cannot leave my house without having eaten something stop doing that add these blueberries i'm gonna save some for tomorrow because i'll probably do the same exact thing plain greek yogurt nice dollop my peanut butter is runny enough to just pour in it's like a creamy natural peanut butter and you can literally pour it very important protein powder Ooh, i'm low alexa add protein powder to the grocery list protein powder added to grocery cherries just to give it some Hardiness. I'm gonna add these oats. Every time I make a smoothie, I feel like I'm forgetting something. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I totally forgot that I have this stuff as well. This is called the Baobab powder. It's a super uh, improves digestive health, energy, supports immune health, weight management, blood sugar levels, stabilization, electrolytes. A couple heaping scoops of this. Cause I do know that electrolytes help you absorb water better i hate watching myself suck things out of a straw there's no cute way of doing it yum it's very good okay well we have a lot to do today a lot of errands to run places to go things to do let's get going what is on the face <laughs> I was thinking it would be kind of nice to give a anxiety scale when I leave my house for fellow agoraphobics that are now following along because I got some new subscribers and um, I'm so <laughs> elated to have people who are also anxious <laughs> from time to time. All right, we are at the Goodwill and I'm going to see if I can find some curtains. Okay, well, I was going to try to vlog the process of what I was doing today, but honestly, it was like a super quick in and out everywhere. It's dumping rain too. I just wanted to get it over with, but uh, I got the paint to, to finish upstairs. Yeah, what else did I do? I dropped off my ballot and I also remembered right when I got home that I've had a lash missing, so I look crazy. It's been one of those days, but I was probably like <laughs> looking a little cockeyed today. My anxiety levels when I first left the house today were pretty high. And then there was a small moment at Home Depot where I got this pinch of anxiety that I was like, oh no, I might have to go outside. I think a lot of people deal with this quietly and don't voice it. I don't want anybody to feel like there's something wrong with them or that they're alone in this. So I don't mind sharing mine. Um, it doesn't mean that there's like something significantly wrong with you. You know, you're just kind of getting through something and that's where I am at and it's okay to admit it. So I was a probably between like a, if you were to say like a scale of one to ten anxiety being like the highest on a ten i was probably about a seven when i left the house already i was waiting for my smoothie to kick in once i got to home depot there was a moment there where i was at about an eight closing inching close to a nine and i thought i was gonna have to walk out for a second waiting for the paint guy to mix my paint and it comes out of nowhere you're just like sitting there living your life and all of a sudden <gasps> out of nowhere <laughs> Everything was fine. Got my stuff checked out. I went, there's no line, checked out. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to go upstairs, sit on my computer and try to get a few things done. Hello. 
what is this weather doing? It's sunny over here and it's pitch black over here. Oh, looks like we've got a storm a brewing. I did this like fishtail braid and I'm really digging it. I think it's so cute. I love this look. It looks really cute with a hat. But yeah, I'm sitting here actually just waiting for the time to tick down for my therapy session. It's going to be here in a couple of minutes and I will be logging on and talking to my therapist. And I actually was going to talk to her about some of the comments that were left on this, the agoraphobia video because one in particular talked about therapy and I just wanted to like see what she thought about that comment. So I should probably get that up and ready to go but what else was I gonna say oh yeah the time change who else is struggling with that I hate the time change I really wish we would do away with it I know that it, there's been talks about it about the time changing but it just like puts you so off like my dogs are on a schedule their body clock time I'm almost conditioned to get up at eight o'clock in the morning and so now I'm getting up at nine o'clock in the morning I'm getting up an hour later than I would like to and I hate that I don't like getting up late I want to get up earlier so now I have to like switch my entire natural rhythm that's so stupid okay well I'm gonna look for this comment because I have one minute left and I will see you guys in a minute because I've got on overalls and I think you know what that means project time <laughs> I had a very good groundbreaking as usual well I guess not every time but I do often have moments in therapy where I have these like epiphanies over and over again it just keeps happening and I'm like oh my god that's why that that I do this this is why I've been doing that and I met a new side of me in therapy today and it is this almost like big sister it's not multiple personality don't worry <laughs> got a handle on it but I had this kind of image come to mind when there was little Sienna who I've talked about before who therapy is so great by the way I just love it I love like I'm romanticizing myself I'm falling in love with myself and I know that sounds really <laughs> arrogant but it's not like that and I can't say it enough you just start to like if you've gone your whole life really angry at yourself for having any sort of mental affliction mental issue self-esteem problems wondering what's wrong with you and then you're finally opening it up and figuring it out and and nurturing yourself you really start to um, feel like you're giving yourself that love that you've been needing for so long and it's not this selfishness it's not it's just everyone just is so quick to use the word selfishness and and make people feel bad for wanting to be in therapy and talk through things that they're struggling with. And there's nothing selfish about that. There's nothing selfish with trying to get your confidence back in who you are as a person and trusting yourself. It's been really great. It's been really great. I don't know what this hair is doing. It looks like I've fallen asleep on it and I haven't. I just kind of I don't know what's going on but anyway I, I got to meet this character and it was when little Sienna was like really struggling with confidence it's this almost big sister who comes in and says you're so great you're awesome like you have all of these great traits and just complimenting little Sienna who was worried that is hail but I got a delivery I thought we would open it together I stopped opening up Ipsy on camera for a minute because I was annoying myself <laughs> because everything and I'm like oh I love it you just like just like watching a little bratty kid open up their presents <laughs> you just don't want to watch it I got an Ipsy and I think I have some add-ons so let's just uh let's just go through it together really quick this is an add-on anytime they have the add-ons of the silky scrunchies I always grab them because they're so affordable and normally these are a little bit more expensive at like Ulta and Sephora so this I think when you do the add-on is three dollars so that's cheap for five scrunchies I just got black some black scrunchies you can never have too many scrunchies all right now we have some uh, Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream some anti-wrinkle wrinkle cream. I like Elemis a lot as a brand. Their rose uh, facial balm cleanser. It's so good. Ooh. Gosh, I just love fragrance. This kind of smells, it reminds me of like a summertime smell. Voyeur Roll-On Fragrance Oil. Love me a fragrance oil. I always like fragrances for new, new trips. If you're about to go on a trip, 
get a little mini rollerball or something. Treat yourself to a little like $20 rollerball from somewhere. That fragrance will always remind you of that little trip that you took. And so every time you put it on, it's this like really positive smell. I love doing that. Rollerball guy. This also is giving me kind of like a summery smell. It reminds me of like coconut. We have a Kosas Reviver Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer. I've heard good things about Kosas. I know that they've gone viral quite a few times on TikTok, and so I'm curious about it. I've not really used the brand. Light medium with neutral yellow undertones. So I finally fixed everything on my Ipsy so that the color and tones should be correct now. I'm hoping that looks promising. Nice, I need a new concealer, so this will be this will be good. Look how cute it is, it's so little. Is it the concealer that went viral? Very yellow for me. Still might be a little bit too yellow for me, but that's okay, that's okay. At least we're not like so dark that I just end up putting it in my makeup kit. Something is big. Ever Eden SPF 50. This is a mineral sunscreen lotion. So this is a hypoallergenic, non-toxic SPF. And I was just thinking about how I don't really want to wear any like chemical SPFs this summer. I want to just really focus on having these more organic, I don't know if they're organic, but like more good sunscreens. It looks like a buoy or something that you would see on a boat. Like you just attach it to your kayak <laughs> type thing. Very cool. I like the packaging a lot. So I like this. This will be nice. It's just nice to have sunscreen, especially for the upcoming uh, warmer season's coming up. I'm so excited. No real smell to it, but still got that sunscreen. It almost looks uh, like um, purple or something, you know what I mean? And then we have Born Ruby Oh So Natural Blush Drops. Peach Charmeuse. I like that little foam stamp. That's cute. I have on blush. This will be really cute for like a blushy, pe peachy, pinched cheek look. I like that. That's pretty. I like it. I like it. Super Serum Silk Concealer. Okay, this one, okay, so the Kosas one was an add-on. This, I think, was part of what came or what you can choose. Yensa, is that how you say that? Yensa, never heard of this brand before, Yensa. I like to look it up. That is a really beautiful concealer color. Oh, and it's so silky, it goes on so nice. I think I'm gonna like this a lot. Oh, that's so great. Cause I was thinking that the Kosas was a little bit on the yellowy side for me. If I want brightening, this is my color. This is really pretty. Look, look at how it's brightening. What color is this? This is just light one. Oh, this is wonderful. I really, really needed a new brightening concealer. I love that. Silk concealer, super serum. Silk Concealer. Super Serum Silk Concealer goes to the Sally Seashell by the Seashore. <laughs> this is why I love Ipsy Monthly because whatever I'm low on, I just order it on Ipsy and then I'll get it for the discount because I need a concealer. So for 25 bucks, is it 27 now for Ipsy Monthly? I get, I needed a new face cream. I needed a new concealer. I'm always in the market for some scrunchies. The blush is just like a bonus. It's not something I needed, but it's nice to play. And I've gotten all of this for under 30 bucks and now I don't have to go buy a new concealer and a new facial moisturizer and I do like to use more prestige brands. I am, I always say this, I am an Ipsy affiliate but this is not sponsored by them but I do have a link below if you would like to try Ipsy and sign up. They always have these amazing, like if you're a new Ipsy subscriber, they always have these really amazing deals so you can get a lot of extra new free stuff when you first sign up and you can cancel if you don't want to, you can skip a payment if you're not feeling it that month. Whatever you wanna do, you're in control and I love that. Uh, anyway, Dominique's Brow Frame 4-in-1 Brow Pencil. Now again, this is something that I feel like I'm getting low on. So now I don't have to buy another brow pencil. This is in taupe, but look how dark the sticker is. That does look like taupe. Okay, now that makes more sense. That looks like taupe. Ooh, look at that. Look at that tip. Everybody's always forever coming up with something else. So you have the fine definer tip. Then you also have the flat edge to fill in. 
Interesting. That is interesting. Can you do like a fine microblade? There you go. Look, you could do those fine little strokes, but you can also do a flat one. This might be brilliant. I'm curious. Maybe I could just do one fine hair stroke right here. That's pretty cool. I actually really like that. I'm getting the fine stroke. So what if I can use this instead of the NYX lift and snatch, which is what I usually do to get those fine hair strokes. I'll play with it tomorrow and I'll see. I'll use this instead. I feel kind of sporty cute today. I went on this whole spree of thrifting for workout gear. So I got a bunch of pants. These aren't, I got these from adidas.com. The shirt I got, I got like four long sleeves. I got like four tank style, bralette style, and then like three pairs of jogger pants. And I kind of want to do that one more time. I want to get another round of workout gear. I can just toss on. That makes me feel good when I go working out or when I go walking the dogs and just get more like really nice walking sneakers and maybe a couple more little hats. And I have to wear the type of hats that are short bill because if they're long, they look really weird on me. But anyway, I just thought I would share that because a lot of people probably think that work Workout gear is super expensive, which it is, but you can get some decent stuff thrifting. Look at my stunning bag. He did such a good job. I am blown away. This purse looks exactly like it should, like brand new. And he gave it a new sheen and cleaned it up. He cleaned out the inside. Look at the inside. It's all so stunning. Oh my gosh, I'm so stoked. All right, well, I'm gonna get to bring my Louie back for the weekend. That was what I was hoping for, and he's like the sweetest guy ever. If anybody is looking for a shoe guy or a purse guy or a leather maker of any kind, he can do it all there and is probably the nicest guy you'll ever meet. It's hard to not just stay and talk because he will chat your ear off in the best way. <laughs> like He's so funny. He's from Louisiana, and he's been doing this since he was 10 years old. His dad talked taught him how to fix to be a cobbler. And then he also does purses and stuff too though. So he did my boots and then he did my bag. And then there's a gal who drops off stuff there that she thrifts, he said, and she buys stuff. Like he said, she had a Fendi bag that she brought in and had it re like all the leather redone and cleaned and she resold it for like four times the price. I was like, I'm in the wrong business. I need to figure this out. I need to become like a luxury label reseller. I need to know who this person is. I need to be friends with her. But he said she goes, Every weekend she drives out of town thrifting to get stuff to resell. I'm like, that is brilliant. Anyway, all right, I'm done. I'm gonna go and I have things to do. I have to pack. Good morning. It's my birthday. It's my birthday, it's my birthday. Oprah's favorite things, birthday edition. Thank you. <laughs> I just pretended that you all said happy birthday. <laughs> I'm getting ready for our little road trip here and I still have to go get kava. I actually tried to go to a local tea house yesterday to get some and they had some very stale looking kava. I mean, even the girl who was working the counter who was like very young, obviously was working there for her mom was like, yeah, we've had this for a really long time. I'm like, okay, <laughs> probably shouldn't tell me that. But um, they said that it was like almost 15 bucks for one ounce of kava. And I'm used to getting so much more, but I'm all packed up and I did it all last night. And then I also, I don't know if anybody else is like this, but I have to have my house clean before I go anywhere because I hate more than anything. It like makes me really depressed to come home from like an amazing trip to a house that's dirty. I get sad, like, cause you're already coming down from the high of being out of town and your vacation and your trip. And now that it's over, when you come back, it's like back to reality. And I hate doing that to myself where back to reality means I'm back to a dirty house. <laughs> so I just keep it nice and tidy. And I even like spray the cushions with some like linen spray so that it doesn't get musty while we're gone. I'm so funny. I have to do that and we have to take the garbage out so it doesn't like sit here and stink. I just have like a kind of list of things that have to get done before we go. The dog's bag is all packed up. I have a little Marc Jacobs diaper bag that I like to, uh, pack all their stuff in. I bought that just for them on the real real. All right, I think this is gonna have to do. So let's uh, let's go get everything finished and I'm gonna run an errand and then we'll be on the road. So I am so happy I finally get to 
use my bag. It looks so good. He did such a good job. It looks like it did when I bought it and better because when I bought it, it was very much coming apart on the handles and he just did such a great job and he made it look so nice. I mean, it wasn't this shiny when I bought it from the real real. So it looks better than it ever has since it's been in my possession. And look, look how cute. I almost need him to shine up my planner now. <laughs> so it looks as good. Cause look at the difference of the gloss that he used on my bag. And then this, it's like not as shiny, but I'm bringing my little planner cause it just looks adorable in here. This has been what I've wanting. This is what I've been wanting to do is have them together. It's kind of silly, but little things like that matter to me. <laughs> we are on the road. First gas station stop. Proud of us, we've made it halfway there without stopping. These guys are ready to get out of the car and pee on some grass. <laughs> you guys are so cute. So far so good. I'm driving, so I'm not doing any of the road filming. Maybe I'll get Lyle to do some. <laughs> What a beautiful hotel. This is probably one of the nicest that I've seen in a while. Look at the decor, this wall. And the pups have already figured out how to get up and down off the bed with this amazing dog bench. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it. The lamps look like they're upside down, don't they? Kind of has this like upside down effect. Ooh, a full length mirror. Nice. Lovely. That's very cool. Yeah, this is a really nicely decorated place. Very, very thought out. I don't even know what the style of this place would be considered. Textured walls, city views, shih tzus. Here's the bathroom if anybody wants to know what this looks like. So if anybody has plans to come to Portland and wants to stay in a hotel that's like downtown, this is the river place, but it is right on the water. So we're gonna go check that out. And the babies are very happy. Yes, the babies are very happy, but they need to go for a walk walk. There's the Marriott. Well, this was a lovely surprise. They just brought this in. <laughs> And I at first thought, well, I told them that we're not, we're, we're not interested in any alcohol. And so I thought that was champagne, but it's apple juice, sparkling apple. It's so nice. Isn't that so nice, Tina? That's so nice. Isn't it so nice, Bina? <laughs> and then look, chocolate cake. No, that is not for, most certainly not for puppies. Okay, I'm gonna set this up. I just wanted to get a photo. Marvin, leave it. Back up, buddy. Back up. That is so sweet. I love this place. Oh. Oh, look at the phone. <laughs> I'm already in walking gear because I am going to head to the dumpling place to get our dinner. We've ordered a spread. <laughs> dumpling time. There's one of these in Bremerton. Yeah. Good morning. What? This is really hard to walk on. Did you walk on that? Somebody spray painted at the very front of it. What? No. Why? Fix this path. Really? It's 
too bright. <laughs> Can't even open my eye. Gorgeous, gorgeous day. It's supposed to be 70. Huh? I mean, I love me some cobblestone and some vintage roadways, but this is nearly impossible <laughs> to even walk on. Like this would sprain an ankle if you weren't cautious. Who wants food? Who's hungry? We just got back from a really lovely morning stroll. And we're gonna have some breakfast. Mm. Oh, that looks real good. Looks like they like pan sear it. Oh, look at the nettles. <laughs> so cute. This is nice. Crab Benedict. Yes, ma'am. Mmm, icy cold wowie. There you go. <laughs> We've got a little spy looking out the window. This little hotel is so cute and so nice. I'm so glad we booked this. They have been so accommodating. The birthday tray with the chocolate cake and every that was so nice of them to do. They've also given us a complimentary room service breakfast, which was so just lovely. And they texted me, how's everything going? It's just a very, very nice hotel. And I love this little strip that we're on where you can just walk down. So Lyle just went and walked to the little store down the street. I actually noticed that they carried Blake Lively's like beverages. She has that Betty Buzz. All right, I need to go straighten my hair. Well, I just dropped Lyle off at the tattoo shop. We tried having the dogs in there, but they wouldn't stop barking because this one is out of his mind. So now we're gonna go find something to do so we're not bothering them. <laughs> This little park looks cute. It's not as congested. I can just walk around the little whatnot and then be done so he can figure out what he needs to do because he's losing his mind. Well, change of plan. It sounds like he's actually not getting tattooed today. They wanted to rework the size and my husband's gonna have to get his head done in a bigger place, I guess. Like he didn't shave, he didn't get his hair shaved enough and so he's gonna have to figure out whether or not he wants to completely shave all of his hair off to get his head tattooed. So they might postpone it, which means he'll have to just come back. We just were staying the weekend to make it a, you know, a thing. <laughs> but now I was gonna wait for him to get finished with his tattoo so I can go thrifting and he was gonna watch the dogs, but now I get to go thrifting now. So I'm gonna go hop over to what's called Temple. It's called Temple Thrift, and this is really bright. Temple Thrift. And I want, I've been wanting to come here a few times since we've come to Portland, because when I lived here, I never made it over here. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna get to go do. I get to go thrifting, Daddy. <laughs> I want a golden goose now, daddy. Somebody wrote on my thrift post, that's like a reel, cause it's like for some reason it's doing really well. But this gal said, looks cheap, real cheap. <laughs> and I said, it was, thanks. <laughs> my favorite thing to do when people comment like negatively is just be funny with it. Because I, I can't, I just cannot let people's opinions or energy affect me. I guess she's trying to say I have cheap taste. Sure, whatever. You do you, boo-boo. Anyway, um, well, I went to go find a restroom and as soon as he gets back, I wanted to show you guys the cupcakes, but we already devoured two of them on the drive over. I actually have cupcake on my lap, but these are like my birthday. This is supposed to be part of like my birthday treat. So he had the lavender one. I have a salted caramel and a St. Patrick's Day cupcake still left.
kind of rushed because Lyle's waiting in the car, so not too much. I was just packing up my luggage and I just wanted to show what I got in the thrift store. But I actually, what was I watching? I saw something where this gal had this long, like cover flowy thing and she was just like hanging out in her house and she looked so chic and comfortable. But uh, yeah, this thing. I don't know what this brand is. I've never heard of it, but it's completely sheer, so I couldn't try it on in the dressing room. I had nothing on underneath it. It's pretty. I think it'll be nice with like, I'm, I'm still on the hunt for some high-waisted jeans. This is a universal thread crop. Made my boobs look good, and it's just this like almost linen fabric, beige linen fabric, and it has a ruched back to it tag still on brand new love that 20 bucks originally with them tags on i love it this would look really cute with this so some high-waisted like sailor kind of sailor style jeans that's what i'm picturing and then i got this so the vintage section had a lot of as is and it was all incredibly marked down it was pretty shocking this cardigan sweater, hand beaded, stunning vanilla, and it has this silk interior. It's so soft when I put it on. And the name of the brand is called Fabulous Lamb's Wool Hand Beaded Made in the British Crown 100% Lamb's Wool. So I want to look this tag up and get a little bit more information about it and just like the time and era that this was around but it's just so beautiful and it so it has some damage to it it has a little bit of staining in the front and i've been following these accounts on instagram that show you how to fix stuff like that because they would be cool to try to fix it even though it's vintage so you expect it to have stuff like that you know it doesn't mean it's ruined but look at the detail around it look at that around the buttons this beading it's just so pretty stitching around the neckline it's just, I can't believe somebody hand beaded that. It was $11. It's like definitely 40s or 50s. That's, that's an old ass sweater. This one's really, really old as well. Vintage. Cardigan. This lovely beading. This one has a little bit more wear and tear than the other one. Just with the interior silk. Well, it's fine. The silk actually there is fine. That's just the sleeve part. But when you get down to the bottom, there's just a little, little something, something going on. So I'm just gonna see what I can do with it to make it nice. These holes, that is what I was watching some upcyclers fix. So I wanna learn how to fix it. $5, $5 for this amazing old school cardigan. And look at the bottom, look at it. Ah! It's just so pretty. I just think one person can see that and see that it's so like old and that it's tattered and to me it just looks like treasure. I just imagine like where it's been and who wore it, you know? What's the story? Where's it been? How's it traveled over all these years? I just think that's cool. Anyway, that's it. That's all I got. I bet in the summer it turns on. I mean, I don't even know how we're gonna get out of here. 
Which way would we have to go? Right there. What, do they stop all of the marathon runners? I think you can go straight, like go back out and go straight left and that leads you to I-5 south and then you can just loop back and we can get down and loop back around. Oh my god. <laughs> this would happen. Look at all these people jogging on the road we need to leave on. That is so many people. This is the entire city of Portland right here. The marathon is over, <laughs> almost. I felt so bad for any car that was sitting here because they weren't letting anyone through. And so we just watched cars turning around one by one after they waited for what felt like forever. What a pain in the ass. I don't know if you're this way. We like to just get going. <laughs> We're not really dilly-dallyers. Unless there's something planned that day, then we would just rebook the room. But knowing that there's a checkout time at like 11 or whatever, or noon, I just like can't relax because I know that we need to check out. And so unless we like load up the car and then we're just already in the car. So let's just leave. <laughs> like, I don't know if anybody else is like that. We just, we just like to go. We just like to leave. But it, you know, it was a good one. It was a good trip. I feel really bad that my husband and I, like, so I had a good time because it was my birthday, but we also came here so that he can get tattooed. And because the tattoo like wasn't fitting right in the spot, the, him and the artist were like, this probably isn't gonna work. Like you need to go get your hair cut all the way or reconsider the design. And now he, they went back and forth about it for so long and he had another appointment following that. That was a pretty like big piece. And so he couldn't fit it in in the time they needed. I just feel bad. Cause like, that's kind of why we came to Portland. We also were like, oh, it's your birthday. We could just make a thing out of it. So, and I'm pretty easy going. I'm just like, sure, whatever. You know, I'd be perfectly fine with staying home. I'd be perfectly fine with coming on a fun trip and hitting up a thrift store that I've been meaning to go to since I lived in Portland, but it just didn't, it didn't work out. We still had a really good time. I fell back in love with Portland. I realized why I like this city. It really was like, I don't know if it's cause it's spring and we had beautiful weather and everybody was just in this like really good mood cause the weather was changing and you can feel summer coming. Everybody was just in such a good mood and everywhere we went, there's people everywhere. There's families and joggers and people out with their dogs and their kids and it just was really lovely. I should probably help. <laughs> okay, we are packed. Puppy's got their cooling scarves on cause it's gonna be warm. Thank you for everything. You betcha. Sweetest husband in the entire world right there, girls. I'll fight you, I'll fight you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know what, they say. what? Better to have your tattoo done right than have it done right now. You heard it here first. Yeah, you want your tattoo to look good. This is a lesson. Don't settle for squeezing something in that shouldn't be squeezed in. Yeah, yeah. If especially if it just doesn't seem like it's working out. Trust the process. Trust trust the process. You've got all sorts of wise words this morning well and then if you're going to tattoo your head don't be afraid to shave your hair off a little further <laughs> that, that was kind of step number one well you were really trying to like stick your toe in the water and like okay maybe i'll shave this much and see if i can get, still get tattooed yeah. but you're gonna have to shave your head all the way it's okay hair grows back i love the long hair personally which is why i'm like no but I support whatever you want to do. But we're done, Portland. It's actually been lovely. Lovely weather, lovely time. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye-bye. <laughs>